applications of differentiation, tangents and normals. And in this video, we are going to focus on normals. You will find this on page 269 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Normals. At the point A, where it touched the curve, the normal is perpendicular to the tangent. So the gradient of the normal is the perpendicular, so with the sign change and the reciprocal of m, so 1 over m. The equation of the normal is then given by this. Okay. So, find the equation of the normal to the curve at this point. Now, the first thing is now we have to find the y coordinate, just like in the... Um, okay, now we have the x and the y coordinate, so we don't have to find it, sorry. Find the derivative function and the gradient at the point where x is negative 2. So, first differentiate, don't forget to bring the x up, it must be in the numerator. Now, differentiate, now you can bring it down. Okay, so when x is negative 2 and I substitute, I will get 3 over 2. So the normal is perpendicular to the tangent. So it will be the reciprocal of this. Just take note, actually you can just, if you already change the sign and swap, you're just going to substitute it in M. You're not going to redo it. Okay, so because this is just indicating I'm taking the reciprocal with a different sign. So I already did it, so I just put it in, and, and then basically I'm just doing exactly like the previous example. I just simplify, and this will be my final answer. Okay, just take note that these are the same examples in Trinal 11, where we find the equation of the tangent. The only difference is we're now going to find the equation of the normal. So let's do number two again. We did it in the previous video. Okay. But then we were finding the tangent and not the normal as indicated here. Okay, let's start. Find the equation of the normal. So let's write the equation or the function down. Okay, so if I differentiate, okay, let's just see. Yes, I can directly differentiate. Why? Because I, no, I cannot because I don't have the y. If you can, you can check in the previous video, but in this case, I must just find it before I differentiate. Okay, so let's just going to start there. So from try now, we can use, but I think the best will be if we just start as if we did. So uh, when, I'm just going to repeat it. When x is zero, the y coordinate is, and now I substitute just zero into the original equation. So therefore, the point, uh, the point will be uh, 0 and 1, just like we indicated in the previous video. Okay, now we're going to go, so the equation of the normal, okay, now we're first going to differentiate. So if we differentiate, so dy or dx, that's 2x plus 3. And now we substitute the value of x in, so we are going to say when x is 0, dy by dx equals 2, 0, plus 3, and the value will be 3. Okay, this is the gradient now, and now we can start working with that gradient. So if we want to find, uh, what I'm going to do in this video, a little bit different, I'm going to just use this. Okay, so I'm just going to use that formula for the normal. So i just show you now why. Because the formula indicate already that you change the sign and you take the reciprocal. 
Okay, so don't forget that this will be x1, this will be y1, and, and this is n. That is n. So if I put it in, if I so, okay, I'm just going to move this to the side. And I'm going to clean that. Then I'm going to say y minus, and now in the pla pla place of y1, so 1, and now I'm just going to say negative 1 over 3. Did you see? I'm actually doing it in this step, so I can just substitute the n. So then it's x minus 0. And now I simplify. And now I'm just going to go for my finals. And this will be, let me just write it. So this will be the normal to the curve at the point zero one. Okay, it's just at that point. Okay, and there is your final answer. We will continue in the next video.